all right so there are two things that i want to discuss under the extra section the first one is dependent pick list so now let's say you have a use case wherein let's say we are on the account object right and under the account object if the type is prospect you only want to show certain field values for the ownership field that's another pick list field right or let's say if the type is customer direct you want a specific checkbox to be true always right so there's some kind of dependency on a field wherein the field is called the dependent field and the field that controls it it is called the controlling field this is something that can be configured out of the box from salesforce right so let's take this example wherein we have these two fields type and ownership and under type if the value selected is prospect i want ownership to only have private and subsidiary these two as the options and for everything else i would want all these four options to be available all right how do i configure this let's go to object manager and let's go to the account object so in account object under fields and relationships you'll see something that's called field dependencies right here right if i click on field dependencies you'll see that there's currently no dep no dependency defined but if i go ahead and click on new i get to select a controlling field and a dependent field right so what's my controlling field my controlling field would be the type field this field right here the type field right and this will control how the ownership field will behave right so what's the dependent field the dependent field is ownership but i don't see ownership here so let's just choose something else let's go ahead and choose what options do we have we have customer priority upsell opportunity let's see what is this upsell opportunity all right so let's say this is the pick list that we have right since this is a standard object there could be some limitations based on what salesforce allows and does not allow but for custom objects you can select any pick list available right but for now let's use upsell opportunity and the type these two uh, fields right now so if type is prospect i would want my upsell opportunity to only have yes option available not these two options right how do i configure this so let's say the fields have been defined here and i click on continue this opens up a matrix wherein i can select a value for each pick list value right so see on the type i can select yes and i can just say include values all right same for all the others i could just go ahead and select multiple and i could just select all of them like this and say include values all right so this means only for the prospect type you would only see upsell opportunity value as yes for all the other four here you'll see all the three values all right once i have configured this for all the values you see there are many more values you can just click on next and configure them and you can include or exclude values and then click on save all right now this says two controlling field values have no dependent values save anyway that's okay we have not configured all of them i just want to demo this in terms of you know what's the what's the functionality of a dependent pick list just click on okay and let's now see how things look like so now if you if, just just take a look at how things look like right now under the type if i just go to customer direct i see all the values available if i switch to prospect i still see all the values available right but now let's click on cancel and now let's go back to burlington all right so now let's try to create a new record and now let's enter the valid information let me just enter my information and now let's go ahead and enter the value type so here if you see this prospect this customer direct let me select prospect and now if you see down below the upsell opportunity should only have the value yes right so it does not have all the values what if i switch to some different value let's say i switch to customer channel what happens here all these three values come up right so this is how you can control a pick list value option based on another pick list value option right now here the limitation is that your controlling field can be a pick list field and your dependent fields can be a pick list or a checkbox all right i'm sorry i i said it the other way around so your controlling field can be a pick list and a checkbox and your dependent can be a, a pick list most of all right but you can read the documentation on the other limitations as well all right so this is how the dependent pick list works